All right, so this is how you program a scene center 48 uh, in the BHS theater. And remember, if you need additional help, the instruction manual can be found online. First, you've got to put it in record mode. To do that, you have to press the record button, hold in the record button, and put in the password, which is 1668, and use these as your number, number pad. 15678. Okay, so hold it in, put in that password. I'll do it right now, but I need two hands. Hold and record, one, six, six, eight. And then when I let go of the record button, everything's gonna flash. There it is. So now it's in record mode as ind indicated by that red light. Now the second thing you need to do is make sure that right here, it's in this chase scenes mode, okay? Now to put it in that mode, you had to press mode select. Now if you keep pressing that, it'll cycle through those three modes. Now, I always want it on the red mode, right at the top, chase scenes, all right? Uh, now, another thing you want to make sure is that the uh, master A and B faders are all at all the way. So, see how the B is upside down? So, all the way on for B is down, and all the way on for A is up, okay? Uh, the fade, that should be at zero. Speed, should be at zero. Uh, audio, doesn't matter, but you have to make sure that that audio light is off by using this button. So, always off that audio light. Now the rest shouldn't matter. Now you can record onto four different pages uh, if you need uh, four times 24 pages of scenes, but uh, I don't know why you would. Finally, it has to be in mixed chase, not single chase. Okay, so let's just say the first scene of my show needs these back Fresnels on, okay? So I want to record those two faders into this first scene fader down here. So to do that, I have to press the record button hold in the record button and press the flash button on that first fader. So two hands again. Okay, I pressed it. Now when I let go, everything's going to flash a little bit and now it should be programmed in. So I'll take these down and to prove that I've actually programmed it, when I put up this first fader, the LEDs on those two faders of those two individual lights should come on at the same time. Watch. And there they are. So repeat the process for your second scene. Let's say my second scene, I need these lights on. Okay, so I tap record, hold in record, and press the flash button on that second fader. Let go, and it's gonna flash. Okay, now that should be programmed into the second fader. So when I take these down, I'll put up the second fader. Now all I have to do is use that second fader for those three lights and that will be apparent on the stage. Now, uh, just say uh, you're ready for the show. Say our show here of two scenes is uh, ready for showtime. All I have to do is take it out of record mode, very important. So uh, hold in record, and then press rec exit, rec exit. Let go, everything flashes, and now it's not in record mode as indicated by that red light. Now, of course, still have to make sure it's in that red mode, everything's the same, so I'll put up preset uh, my first scene and those two lights that we just programmed in will come on. And then the second scene, and there's my show. Now, for example, uh, we know that number 24 is the house lights. Um, so if you want the house lights to fade down over exactly 30 seconds, that's what this neat little fader knob is for here. So I move that down and look at the screen. Two, three, four, five. Okay, let's put that down to 30 seconds. All right around 30, 30, okay, 28 seconds. So I put that down to 28 seconds. See, the light says fade time, which shows what the screen is displaying. And then I drop this fader down. Notice how the LED doesn't turn off right away. That means it's going to take 28 seconds for the house lights to come down. Now I could sit here and wait for it to do that, but we don't have uh, that much bandwidth for upload on YouTube here. So I'm going to wrap up the video. Uh, that is basically how you use this light board uh, in this scenario. It's very handy once you know how to use it. Uh, newcomers, I would read the manual. You can find it pretty much anywhere online. Go to the American DJ website. It's the Scene Setter 48 for them. Uh, so um, there you have it. If you have any questions, you can also send me an email.